Ephesians 1, 3 through 14 is one of my life passages. But let me tell you the story of how that came about. It was many years ago, my daughter Mary, who sings on the worship team some, was just a baby. But circumstantially, our life was really upbeat. We had this beautiful new child. We had bought our first home. We both had good jobs. Circumstantially, things were going well. But emotionally and mentally and spiritually, I felt I was in a fog. I was in a dark cloud of depression, a deep valley, one of the darkest places I've been. And during that time, I called a friend of mine, and Ron Barker told me, he says, look, don't worry about the fact that you don't have a hunger and a desire like you would expect to normally have to read Scripture. Instead, just read Ephesians 1, 3 through 14, and keep reading it over and over again until God makes it real in your heart. So, for the next four months, that's what I did. I would read it, diagram it, outline it, read it different translations, but one night when I had gone and gotten our baby girl, took her to her mom to be nursed, went back in the living room for a little bit, suddenly as I picked up the Bible, started reading Ephesians 1, 3 through 14, suddenly the words began to come off the page and it began to come into my heart. Those phrases over and over again in that passage, in Him, in Him, in Him, in Christ, in Him I'm forgiven of all of my sins. In Him I have been chosen and adopted as a child. In Him. I had been sealed with His Spirit. So now it was a settled relationship and I could live in peace and freedom of that and get away from those nagging questions of, is it enough? Have I done enough? Have I been good enough? Have I failed too much? Suddenly I was free from all of that and I was in Christ. How about you? Is Ephesians 1, 3 through 14 coloring how you see yourself, how you see God, how you see your relationship with Him? Are you in Christ? Is that real in your life? How about you?